Hi there, my name is Nev and this video is about making a database which allows us to book seats for customers who are going to a particular event. If I look at the customer table, uh, it's got five records in here um, and so they are all going to go to one or more event. If I go back and I look at the events, Again, I've got five events in here, and we can uh, come back and look at the junction. In terms of seats, this concert hall has only got six seats. Some of them are good, and some are medium, and some are rotten. The way we're going to link this up is we're going to have a join table, which is going to have a seat number which will then connect across to the details about the seat an event ID and a customer ID I suppose maybe it's better to have the customer first and then the event and then the seat it doesn't really matter okay so how do we go linking these up you can see that there are no links in here at this stage I will have to close these tables I'll leave one open just to show you what happens if I don't but also, if I, were, if I were going to uh, make a link now, customer, across to customer, and enforce the referential integrity, it will say, can't do it because it's already in use. Okay, so we have to close that customer event. That's that message. So we close that. Let's try again. Go customer to customer, enforce the integ integrity. No indexes. So we have to create indexes. So let's go to our customer table, right click, design, and we need a primary key on our customer ID. That'll mean that no two customers can have the same ID number. Very important. Let's go to our events. Uh, I'm gonna close that as well. Yep, we're gonna save that. Let's go to our events, design view and let's create a primary key on the event ID. Now, if I come back to the relationships, let's try now, customer to customer, enforce the referential integrity. Oh, it does it, I'm surprised. Let's try it the other way, let's go event to event, enforce that referential. I'm surprised that it does that as well. Let's go into customer event because at the moment I could probably put a person in an event twice. So what I really want to have in my customer event is I want to have a duplicate primary key and let's see if that'll save. Yeah. Okay, you can see the difference now. Now we will only uh, be able to put a customer in a particular event once we can have a, a customer may do plenty of events and an event may have plenty of customers but you cannot that same customer can't be registered for a single event twice okay I'm going to put a an index a sort of primary key onto table seat as well and I'm going to make that seat number a primary key so that if I want to link the seat number with the seat number, I will get a one to many. Okay. So I can have one customer can actually book three or four seats. So that's okay. If I were to put a primary key on there as well, then one customer could only book one seat but you know it's normal to want to take your friend to the uh, concert so you can book three tickets right let's go now i think we'll leave that that's our relationships created i'll create another video and we'll create queries and forms in order to enter our data